a presentation on making vocational and educational training accessible from Mozambique given by Stelio Ramones from Light of the World International in Mozambique. This presentation summarizes the good practice of making vocational training centers inclusive of and accessible to persons with disabilities in Mozambique. This project makes vocational training centers inclusive and accessible by building accessible hostels and adapting centers as well as training staff about inclusion. We also foster close working relations between disabled people's organizations and Young Africa as well as advocate for inclusion in the labor market. Photos from the Young Africa Training Centers. Photo 1 shows a ramp which ensures access to the building for wheelchair users. Photo 2 shows trainees from a technical course who communicate in sign. Language. The three trainees in the picture are wearing work overalls and safety helmets. Examples are given of what makes this good practice innovative. Among them are collaboration of different stakeholders and focus on accessibility which is not common in such centers. Some examples of the results and impact of the project so far, including 182 persons with disabilities trained in industrial and agricultural courses, 13 individuals are now employed, 47 students. With disabilities and turning in 16 companies and over 60 companies sensitized on disability inclusion. Four pictures from the Skills Fair in December 2017, 1. Photo from the sessions of the fair, 2. Interview with one of the trainees who has a physical disability, 3. Group photo from the fair, 4. Scan of one of the newspaper article reporting about the project in the fair. Light of the World Mozambique is funded through a number of partnerships and grants, including from the EU and the Austrian Development Agency. To make sure this work is sustainable, Light of the World will replicate the initiative in other three Ang Center and countries. Also, all new Young Africa project or apostles now include a disability component. The challenges faced by the project include education gaps among youth with disabilities and the general financial situation in Mozambique which seriously affects the job market.
Next steps include identifying potential funders, provide training to 100 companies in Baylor on how to include people with disabilities and to focus on literacy courses to improve reading and writing skills of people with disabilities to prepare them for vocational training at Young Africa.